Finally this evening, the heyday of pirate radio in Ireland was recalled at a summer school in Dublin's East Wall today. The last of the super pirates officially went off air when commercial radio licences were issued in 1988. Our reporter Carol Coleman went along. They broadcast from garden sheds, hidden rooms and boats. From the first one in the GPO in 1916 to the super pirates of the 1980s, pirate radio was part of the sound of Ireland. In East Wall today, Anorax remembered them. We had the stations on the 70s like Radio Melinda in 1972 and then Radio Dublin came along and that split into ARD, Alternative Radio Dublin, then Big D and then became the Super Pirates in the 1980s with Sunshine Radio, Radio Caroline, Radio Leinster. Maureen Maguire broadcast on a women's pirate radio station in Galway. It's the only programme I ever heard that was women mainly. It's different now, but it was in them days. You never heard anything. You never heard anyone's women's problems. One of the most famous was Radio Caroline, a station broadcasting from off the British coast. I remember Radio Caroline. It was more my brother used to listen to it. I, I know it was a big ship out in the sea somewhere and there was a lot of hassle over it. It was supposed to be illegal. So I suppose that made it more fun to listen to it. Some of today's well-known faces started out on the pirates. By the late 1980s, a new broadcasting act signalled the end for the pirates. Or did it? There are still stations doing house music and garage music and trance music, which you won't get on the normal commercial stations. So there are still pirates there. Carol Coleman, RTE News.